we've got one more team uh, with the Grace Hopper groups, and um, some teams take a really long time to figure out what they want to do. This team uh, came in on day one, and they were like, we want to make an app um, that's like kind of in our wheelhouse, so like using the stuff we built, but we're going to make it really like solid and also kittens and puppies. And it turns out that kittens and puppies are like the best technical design. They're just the best decision you can possibly make. Um, and on that note, here's Whisker. Hello, thank you for coming. My name's Shelby and my teammates are Carrie, Shannon, and Sharati. We're really proud to show you the work that we did on our app, Whisker. So the process of adopting a pet can be time consuming and complicated. So we're trying to streamline that. We've developed an app that will get you faster to your cuddly companion. Basically it's Tinder for pets. You can swipe right if you think that a pet might be a potential adoptee, or you can swipe left if that pet is just not for you. <laughs> Every card on mobile expands to give you more information. And if you find a pet that you think might be the perfect fit, you can go into your dashboard and pursue the adoption process. And we facilitate that by pre-populating an email that we send. It has the user's contact information and previous pet history. However, since pets can't swipe back, you'll have to wait for a shelter to contact you. Shirachi is going to tell us some about the infrastructure of our app. Thank you, Shelby. We constructed Whisker as a progressive web app as we wanted it to be fast, lightweight, and responsive to multiple devices. We structured our app with two servers and connected them with a proxy. Our front end server was built mainly with Create React App, React Redux, and React Swipe Card. Our back end server was mainly built with Node.js, Express, and SQLize. Our data is sourced from PetFinder's API, so we had to parse through copious amounts of data to acquire the information we needed for our app. And now Shannon's going to tell us how that's affected our progress. Working with such a frustrating API really forced us to focus on best practices and functional programming. Knowing what information looked like going into and coming out of our code base became a paramount learning experience for us. However, some learning experiences waited until production to pop up. The night before our first demonstration, we deployed our app to Heroku, eagerly reached for our phones to see what it looked like, and noticed something really strange happening on our iPhones. Perhaps you can tell what I'm talking about. The next day, we frantically searched for the source of this malfunction. Um, we eventually figured out that Safari was caching our XHR requests much more frequently than Chrome and resending the same information to populate our cards over and over and over again. Uh, this was a very dramatic way to learn that it's really important during development to check for cross-browser compatibility. However, with so many wonderful learning experiences, we still have some high aspirations for the future of Whisker, and I will allow Carrie to tell you a little bit more about that. Thank you, Shannon. In the future, we're hoping to integrate geolocation so that you could search for pets nearby as in addition to the ones that are in your profile's zip code. We would also like to add more filtering features, such as client-side filtering to filter based on options such as sex and age. We would also like to be able to refine the pet queue to automatically exclude pets that conflict with your personal preferences. Come check us out at whiskerapp.herokuapp.com. I'm Carrie Miller, and my teammates are Sharati Pradham, Shelby Rackley, and Shannon Kendall, and we are Whisker. Thank you. I, I think that. Um the gesture that Tinder popularized is uh, is such a powerful um, way to submit preferences to an app that I think it's like it's almost underutilized. So I really I really like this, uh, really like the interface, and um, yeah, I uh, I wonder if it's also translated into various pet languages, um, or. I think no, but it does work, which is like usually or very often muted. Yeah. Like, oh. I was going to say, um, 
it, there, this app, like, as far as I'm aware, it'll actually send the email to an actual shelter. You can actually adopt a pet. I don't know if they've okay. gone through the whole flow, but that's, to me, that's impressive. Like, two weeks and they're yeah. working at. It's too easy. I think I'd have, like, 10 pets by then. I know, I know. It's like, they all look so cute that I probably wouldn't think it through that how ready yeah. I am. But I think you have to actually still go to the shelter and pick it up. So there's, okay. there's sort of a limiting function. If it was just pet delivery, yeah, you're. <laughs> <laughs>